One of the most influential plans to get humans to the surface of Mars came from a young aerospace engineer named Robert Zubrin. This plan is named the Mars Direct Plan. My name is Ben Pearson. I am the Broadster Tracker, and today I'd like to talk to you about this plan. In 1989, NASA released its 90-day report, which detailed a list of missions for NASA to accomplish, including building a space station, sending humans back to the surface of the moon, and sending humans to Mars. The Mars portion was at the very end of the report and was estimated to cost approximately $400 billion, which is essentially to say, not possible. One young aerospace engineer by the name of Robert Zubrin decided to do something to change that, and he decided to create the simplest mission possible to the surface of Mars. In it, he threw away assumptions of building large fleets of spacecraft and tried to figure out a way to make it happen with just two spacecraft that would be sent. This plan would only send four astronauts to the surface of Mars at any one time, but would be vastly cheaper than any of the previous plans and was something that was actually obtainable by NASA. The key technology to make this happen is known as the Sabier process and has been demonstrated to work on the International Space Station as seen in this photo. The way the Sabier process works is it will combine carbon dioxide and hydrogen to create water and methane. Methane, along with oxygen, is a wonderful rocket fuel, one of the more efficient ones that is relatively safe to handle, and thereby would make an excellent choice to get humans back from Mars to Earth. We can further convert water into hydrogen and oxygen to continue this process, and we can make more oxygen by simply taking the carbon dioxide and converting it into carbon monoxide and oxygen. These processes together would allow us to create water, air, and fuel necessary to get humans back from Earth to Mars. This plan would only consist of two vehicles as pictured here, an Earth return vehicle, which would be sent to Mars two years prior to humans, which would arrive on a habitat vehicle as pictured on the right. The habitat would contain a rover necessary to make it to the Earth return vehicle should the two land far enough apart that the astronauts could not simply walk. It would contain enough food to survive for up to four years if that was required in order for it to be able to return home safely. It would also contain scientific instruments that the astronauts could perform when they first arrived on the surface of the planet. The second vehicle is the Earth return vehicle as pictured in the right in this image. It would contain enough power to be able to generate the rocket fuel from the carbon dioxide and hydrogen stock. It would also contain enough food for the return journey back to Earth, along with other scientific instruments. This plan has led to the creation of related plans such as the Mars Reference Design Mission, also known as Mars Semi-Direct. This mission would send three spacecraft instead of the two that the simpler Mars Direct would, but was still vastly cheaper than anything that had been seen before. This is not to say that everything in the Mars Direct program was considered useful. This picture is of the SLS rocket, which was called for in the original Mars Direct proposal, as a combination of the Space Shuttle main engine and rocket boosters, increased in size to be able to support the larger capacity required to send a large spacecraft to the surface of Mars. Other things such as the amount of power, how to deal with dust storms, the amount of food and supplies that were required, might be a little bit optimistic, considered by today's standards, but still, it was vastly better than anything that has come before, and is the best plan, in my opinion, to get humans to the surface of Mars. You can read more about this plan in the book by Robert Zubrin, known as The Case for Mars, which you can find a link to in the description. This plan has been the basis for many plans in the future, and is very closely related to the SpaceX plan to send the BFR rocket to the surface of Mars and there be refueled and send it back to Earth. Thank you very much for joining me. Let me know whatever questions or comments you guys have about Mars exploration or space exploration in general. Until next time, keep on tracking and take care.